Hello everyone, happy Thursday and welcome to today's stream where we are back to terraforming our planet in Planet Crafter. Um, at the end of last stream, we had just unlocked the mammal level. Um, so today we're going to jump in and we're going to take a look at all of that. We're going to try to build um, the animal shelters and feeders and uh, all that stuff and see what uh, the genetic things are. Um, <clears throat> I would once again like to appreciate the fact that there's no structural damage because as I was waiting, just one single meteor came and crashed right into the base. Um, <laughs> like everywhere. I could get right up on my roof just by climbing the rocks. So luckily, this stuff doesn't do any damage, but I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, let me say hello to everybody, and then we're going to take a look at what resources we need. Uh, Kevin, Bran, Javier, Squirrely, Joseph, Gabby, Christy, Wander, Brant, Gaming Ham, Anunky, Wolfgang, welcome. Let's see. You know, you said it before, got an explanation, but I'm the only streamer that you know that starts the game five minutes after advertised. I know. It's because YouTube doesn't send out notifications, so, like, I try to have a buffer there. But I also hate people that just start late or have, like, a starting soon that's not coming, so I try to put a countdown in there, too. Hey, Scott, good to see you. All right, so building the new things. T2 fertilizer, silk, methane, lerma seeds. That's all easy enough. Animal feeder was flour. Okay, that one's going to be... That one's going to be a little bit more challenging. Bioplastic nuggets we have. That's what we were doing last time. I was trying to grab the silk before the drones grabbed it up. And also, I don't think that they collect my wheat for me, so let's grab that real quick. There we go. Uh, also, I'm hungry, so let's grab some eggplants. And a drink before I go inside. <laughs> there we go. Alright, through all this mess, I was out here because I was kind of hoping there'd be something you know, in this, some resource that came with this meteor. It was pink, so I thought, oh, maybe it's like some pulsar quartz or something. But it just seems like a bunch of rock. <laughs> it just seems like a bunch of rock. All right, so let's, um, let's assess. I also need honey. Oh, I gotta get rid of the bee larva. The drones are supposed to do that, so I'm sure that they are doing that. But let's go recycle some bees. Which sounds terrible. Actually, you know what? Let's just trash the bees. It's fine. We'll trash the bees. That also sounds terrible, but <laughs> it's fine, guys. It's totally fine. I think I'm going to need to turn off fabric crafting here. Yeah, let's switch this to I don't know, something random. I don't even think it can make um, the alloy rods, but we're going to set it to do that. Oh, maybe it can. Oh, never mind. It totally can. Okay. Uh, the important part is it's not pulling my silk anymore. Alright, what do I need? Let's pin these. Animal shelter and an animal feeder. All right, we need a plastic nuggy, which we have. Let's go make this into flour. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> tier two fertilizer. And I think I was three wheat short. Two wheat short. Yeah, I didn't come in and fix up my stuff at all. That was kind of unlikely to happen. I was being optimistic when I said I was going to play a little bit extra to try to um, organize my storage. Because at the end of last time, we kind of went down dump chest territory. And by kind of, I mean really, really badly. Like stuff is everywhere and it's terrible. 
Um, we need a honey, which should be over here. Nope, it's just a cookie. Okay. I might have to go clean out more bees. Again, the drones are supposed to do that and trash them for me. There we go. See, I grabbed it before the drone could. And then I need two water and two circuits and a seed lerma. Oh yeah, see, I put this in there. Two circuits and then we just need a seed lerma. Which is gonna be in one of these miscellaneous boxes. Uh, here we go. And then one more silk. Come on, one of these guys has to make me some silk. One of them. All right, well. I don't even know how we get the genetic material to do this. Um, let's put our mammals out the back door near our butterflies and our frogs and all that stuff. In this little clearing right here. Have I heard of Marvel's Midnight Suns? It sounds familiar. Is it one of their TV shows? Um, let's start with the animal house. And we're going to point it this way. Oh, look, it's got like a little thing. Okay. So I guess we put like genetics in there. All right, this generates heat, pressure, energy. Or no, it takes energy. Heat, pressure, plants, insects. We found some... Um, we found some genetics in a random box. I find it weird that you have to have the animal feeder separate, but we're, we're going to go with it. I feel like this game, what this game lacks a lot is any kind of like detailed description of how these things work. So this spawns animals, this feeds nearby animals, but like, what's the range on it? How many do we need? Oh, it's a game. Then definitely not. <laughs> uh, Here we go. Yay, silk. Okay, so now we can do the feeder for the animals that we don't have. I don't know if it's like the frogs, like with the frogs, we had to run around and even the insects, we had to run around and look for like I put the flower in. No. What does it take? Not flower. Can I feed them bugs? No. An eggplant? Ah, OK. Eggplant. Okay, so it takes flour to build it, which is weird. It takes flour to build it, but then we have to fill it with regular food. That's an interesting, that's an interesting recipe mechanic on that. Anything we can eat, they can eat. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So yeah, we'll have to set it up for drones for sure so that we don't end up, uh, you know, starving my animals to death if that's possible. We need to get rid of these bees. Sorry, bees. I'm trashing you. Trash the iron. Honestly, probably trash the uh, zeolite too. It's funny to think about trashing these things that were like desperately needed resources. And now I'm just like, no, I don't need it. You have more rocket engines. Didn't we get an animal rocket at the end last time? Oh, we did, but it takes six genetics. Where did I put the genetic thing that I got? Plankton, seeds. Random extra food here. That is just blanked in. I love a good game like that where you can play it and just lose the time. It's bad for me now because I very rarely have the time. Okay, so this is a 
insert into genetic synthesizer. That's a DNA manipulator. Genetic synthesizer. Right. Okay. So we can put that in here, but then we don't have the other pieces that we need. We still need other traits to synthesize the thing, I guess. So yeah, we got to go find a bunch more of these. I think we these three are required, and then this is like a level three thing. So this isn't even technically needed. The ones with the little asterisks are needed. Right. Oh, you're fine, gaming him. I know how it is. I appreciate you being here whenever you can. Life is busy. I get it. I am I right, Anaki, that you only get them through... Okay, we have way too many of these samples and flowers. The fertilizer box is a mess. Alright, we're gonna start mixing them in with the genetics and just pretending that we didn't. Okay. I need more of the like big, big boxes like I have for my rods over here. They're expensive, but honestly, I need it. All right, we're going to change this back to fabric now that I've built the thing that I wanted. Uh, fabric. Actually, let's grab these and put them in the rod box. And I don't think I have anywhere that has space for seeds. Oh, I was wrong. I do. I skipped this one. Back this way. You need to use a gene thing on stuff like caterpillars, fish eggs, and flowers. Oh! You get it from the... other stuff? How oh, could I have done it to my bees? That makes some amount of sense. That's kind of what I mean, though. Did I miss that in a description somewhere? I feel like that was not well explained. Is it the DNA manipulator? No match found. This is the... This is where we put the traits once we get them. This was the genetic sequences for the trees. Yeah, this game needs a tutorial when you when you unlock a new thing like this. These are where the frog and fish and bugs are made. Oh no, I died. Whoops. Okay. Well. Who was shocked that that happened? Cuz no one should be. <laughs> hey, Pack, good to see you. Okay, so it's another new piece that I missed. Gene synthesizer. We have that. Oh, it's the genetic extractor. This one. This one. I didn't have the solar quartz when I tried to do it before. That's right. And then we got solar quartz at the end last time. That's right. Thank you, Ananki. Uh, I need a pink one and a blue one. We really are out of pink quartz. That's not great. The yellow one's here. I can make the pink kinds. I wonder how quickly... I might have to go get some. Oh no, it'll do it. I wonder how quickly those caves respawn. Yeah, we used the pink to make the teleporters. That's what it was. And I think I need even more of it because I still wanted to make this thing, the portal generator. But I need two more of, or another one of those energy multiplier fuses for that. Oh yeah, that doesn't take any quartz at all. It's just the energy multiplier fuses. Okay, anyway, let's go build this thing. Uh, I need an uh, osmium rod. 
and a circuits and a mutagen sample. Where did I just stick some of those in the gene box? It is this one, tier three. Okay. Now we're going to build this thing here. Okay, exact extract genetic traits from a bee. Do you get something different? Oh yeah, look, they're different. Species, genetic information. Okay. Now we need a color, two colors. Oh, we gotta throw all kinds of stuff in here now. Uh, you said flowers can do it? Ooh, do you think flowers give you a color? That would make sense. It does give you a color. Oh, we're gonna just do all the things. <laughs> oh, it gives you a list. Oh, yeah. I totally didn't even notice. It's right here. <laughs> oh, you can do the quartz, too. Green and purple quartz. All the bugs. Probably have a lot of random bugs in here. Uh, do all the bugs. Can I load it up with a bunch of stuff? Yep. Oh, I'm thirsty again. Okay, let's let's go get a drink before I die in my little room again. Okay. And then these aren't ready to harvest. Perfect. All right. So, did this give me enough to make something? Synthesize creature DNA. Insert traits to... S oh, we did it! We did it! Okay, so then we have this one and this one. This goes down here, so we need another color. This is great. This is great. Yeah, fish eggs. Oh, what? What did that do? Uh, these are frog eggs. Did I do these fish eggs? I might have to craft some more stuff like fish eggs. Yeah, some of these fertilizers. Tier threes. Tier twos and larva. All right, let's see. So we can do this color. Oh, no, that's a second color. Oh, they actually matter. This is a color B. We need a color A. Bioluminescence. These are fun. Size. I'm going to save some of these. All right, so I need a I need to make a primary color. Those in here for now. Um color 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 B. It does tell you what you get. Ooh, skin pattern. Uh what gives me a color A? Color B, color A. Butterfly larva. Okay, so... Butterfly larva are A's. I don't think I have any offhand. Hey, you Sammy, good to see you. I'm doing well. Uh, so mutagen fertilizer and a common larva is going to be our easiest one. Uh, we should have enough fertilizer, actually. Regular fertilizer? Yeah. Regular mutagen. 
And I already forgot the other thing. A almond larva. Uncommon, common. I need more common larva. <laughs> snow, Pat? You might get snow in... April? Ooh. All right, so this is doing its thing. Perfect. Actually, when the when the rocket says six genetics, was it specific about what type? Any genetic trait. Okay. So if I get a bunch of random stuff that I don't actually like care about, right? Like if I turn all of these larva and stuff into genetic traits, then those would be really easy to put on the rockets. And were generic frog eggs one of the things? Yep, we didn't do generic frog eggs to get a pattern. I feel like a mad scientist right now more than at any other point in this entire game. <laughs> more than at any other point in this entire game. We do have a lot of flowers. Even ignoring that one, I think this one's full of flowers. Oh, well, that's mostly Lerma. Uh, seeds. Yeah, this whole box. Let's make some rockets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's just make a bunch of flower traits. Those all made the same thing. Oh yeah, because they were all the same flower. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. Alright, so we're going to take all those. Did I hit research on this? Nope, sure didn't. That wasn't doing anything because I didn't push the button. Alright, now it's at 10%. Now it's actually doing something. I'm glad I noticed that before too much time had passed. Okay, where's my paper? Um, I also need osmium rods, rods and tier 4 mutagens. See, samples, tier 4, two of them, perfect. And then two osmium rods. I don't think I have that. I think I have to make those up. Uh, yeah, I only have one. I need to unnotice it. Can it make me osmium rods from right here? Yes, it can. All right, we're gonna let that go for a bit. And then rockets. I don't know how, like what it's really gonna do. There aren't already animal, like I haven't even made an animal yet and I'm gonna launch some animal rockets, but I'm sure it's fine. Now I'm guessing I need a separate one of those little animal pens for every animal type that I want to make. <gasps> Look at the fish! Okay, that's officially horrible. I mean, launching bugs and launching some other stuff never really felt that bad. But we are launching actual fish into space right now. And that feels worse. <laughs> Bye, fish. Why is it fish? I 
don't know, guys. This feels bad. That felt real bad. <laughs> All right, so this should give us this, which will give us a color. Okay, so that's gonna give us a color A pattern. We can do a size. Oh, that's a skin pattern color. Okay, so skin pattern color doesn't really matter if I don't have a skin pattern itself, which I don't currently have. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to do some more things that do skin patterns. Now, if I stick this thing in, I don't have to fill in all of these, right? It'll just work with what I've got. Let's go see what happens when we put these in the thing. We've got two of them now. Also, I need to eat something. Is this grown? No. My beans must not be keeping up. Because I've got a lot of honey. Oh yeah, this drop chest too. <laughs> Just keep eating my eggplants. Water. And let's go take a look. Yeah, this whole little clearing is just going to be animals. Oh, look at them. You look like a teeny tiny cat horse. We have hooves and armor. And this guy's like got all the little legs. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so we need to set this up to demand food items. Let's do like the mushrooms and the squash as a top priority. There we go, they brought it a mushroom. Fantastic. Okay. They're so cute. I get the feeling that you're not gonna find animals running around in the wild, which is kind of a bummer. Because it would be really exciting to just be out running around and see one of these guys walking around. Where did it go? Where's the other one? We already lost one. I mean, not really, but like it wandered away. I feel like they need a fence. <laughs> where did the where did the horse cat looking one go? Okay, we need to uh, we need to gene splice more things. All of the things. I need more things that are going to give me colors. Colors and skin patterns. Okay, that's a skin pattern color, but I need an actual skin pattern. Bioluminescence, colors. Okay, so skin patterns are things like these butterflies. Serena butterfly. Okay, I think that's it. These are skin pattern colors. All right, so I need to make one of these Serena butterflies or the Emio ones. Serena. Ah, cool, I can pin that too. Two rare larvae. Need to unpin this. We're totally doing this. This is great. Rare larva, two tier two mutagens. I only have one. It's fine. 
We'll work on making another tier two while this one is going. Research. Hopefully we get the one we want. And tier two mutagens is an, a common larva, a honey, and a mutagen. Ooh. Yeah, we need more common larva. And I don't think that's what I get from crushing bees. I think the bees give me uncommon larva. Aha! Common larva. Fantastic. Let me pick you up. Thank you. What's happening here? Is there a resource getting left by this? It's just, oh, it's super, super alloy. I almost did the alloy thing again. I'm going to keep calling it alloy. <laughs> I don't really care much about the super alloy. We're definitely going to have to adventure walk. Um, now I already forgot what else I need. The common larva, a regular mutagen. the other thing? Honey, I think. Okay, the whole place is shaking. This is a little crazy. Perfect. This one can go in here. And this is a skin pattern. All right, let's see. So we've got a species. We still need a color A. <clears throat> I need to make a lot more A colors. For sure. Uh, but we got a skin pattern color. Uh, bioluminescence. Size. Secondary color can be this pinkish color. Gonna load all that in. Okay, so the only thing we're missing is a color A. <clears throat> also, I am thirsty. And I already forget what gives me the colors. <clears throat> we just made some too, and I already forget what it was. There's too much happening, and I'm too excited. Okay, it's daytime. Is the is the baby back? There you are. Can I interact with them? Because that'd be super cool. No, of course I can't. Hello, friends. Almond larva. Good. We need those. Ooh, tier four jetpack. Food is full, so that is good. There's the butterflies. Wee. A species two? I want that too. I want all the things. All right, so grab this. I see, yeah, they've got like one, two. This is the number three. Um, all right, so pretty much all the butterflies right up until this golden one are going to give me a color. Mutagen and fertilizer, rare and mutagens. Yeah, yeah, so. Not that one. This one. Re mutagen. Regular mutagen. Okay, we need more rare ones as well. Are any of these uncommon? Common? 
Uncommon is the Silkworm. Yeah, we need more rare larvae. Okay, so we're gonna, we're going on some adventure walks for bugs. We went from feast to famine. Or, no, famine to feast. The other way around. We had all this stuff and didn't need it, so I stopped collecting it. And now we need all the things. All of the things. Except uncommon. I still don't think we need very many of those. We need so many more animals just to keep running around. Oh, good, a rare. That's what I needed. I wish I could auto set this thing to go. I mean, I can, like, I can set the drones up to do it, but I want to make various things, not just all the same thing. Thank you. Color A. All right, let's go see what this one is. <laughs> this is my favorite part of this game so far. I'm so excited. Oh, it's one of these guys, but purple. Okay. Okay, because this is species one. This is a species three. And this was a species one. Okay, yeah. So we need to find a species two. There's only those three, I guess. And then there's the... Look at my army of frogs. It actually looks kind of scary when you step back a little bit and look at it. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying. We... Okay, what things give me species again? Because we got to keep rolling the dice on species. Ooh, bees. Bees, silkworm... And rare larva. Is that it? Oh, maybe I should do a silkworm. I wonder if doing a silkworm would give me... Yeah. I wonder if doing a silkworm would be the one that I haven't gotten yet. Because that's just a bacteria sample. Uh, uncommon fertilizer bacteria sample. But can't that give me something else? Uncommon mutagen fertilizer. Oh no, okay. I feel like it used to be either a bee or a silkworm, but they maybe they changed it. Land shark and horse llama? Those are very good names. That completely makes sense. How are we doing, by the way, with all these animals we just put in? How are we doing on this? Not this one. Well, this one too, I guess. Still have plenty of power. We've got... Oh, I just scrolled down. I was like, it doesn't show animals here. There they are. There they are. All right, so our animal score is climbing slowly. We've made it to 2% of the way through the mammal's phase. What do we have to unlock still? Um, blueprints. Extraction platform. And that's actually it. What's our tier 4 jetpack going to take? Oh, do we make that over here? Uh, two blue quartz, an osmium rod. You totally have that. You totally have that. Two blue quartz. Should have pinned that recipe. Oh, I don't think I can from these benches, can I? I totally can. <laughs> uh, explosive powder, osmium rod. 
explosive powder, osmium rod, and iridium rod. The osmium rods are probably still sitting in this thing. They are. Let's change that back to fabric. And jetpack. Okay, so the propulsion will go from 190 to 220. They changed that in the fish update to get the bee and the silkworm separately. That's good because that was annoying. Okay, so now we need to unpin this. Um, put the osmium rods away. Still gonna grind up this butterfly larva. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Okay, that can go in here. Did I get my silkworm? Yep. Species two. Okay, yeah, so the silkworm is species two. All right, so let's see if we can piece this together. I need a color B, and then what else can we get? Uh, let's do this, and then... Did I forget to put the skin pattern on the other one? I might have. It'd be a bummer. Okay, that color, and then let's do size 2. I don't have any of the other things at the moment. Let's go see what it is. We. They're so funny. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a lizard monkey. That is adorable. I love them. I love them so much. And they just run around and exist. Oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm thirsty again. I was about to say, I feel like I'm hungry and thirsty more, but really it's just that time is passing without really feeling like time is passing. Like, it, it's it been... We've been doing this for 45 minutes already. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's been that long. It does not feel like it's been that long. All right, let's um unpin these recipes. Just so I can get them out of the thing. We wanted to put another teleporter in. I meant to buy one of these energy multiplier fuses. <clears throat> My teleporter is kind of difficult to get to where I did leave it. Oh, I was going to empty my pockets. Let's put these things away. All of a sudden I have space in my cabinets again. This is great. <laughs> This is fantastic. All right, let's go look at the, um, that's a rock. Let's go look back at the quartz section and see if we can get more pink quartz. How do I get out of here? Oh, this way. We come out at the purple section, which we had completely cleared out. I wonder if these exist other places. Hey, Patrick, good to see you. Uncommon larva. That's the one I need the least. Oh, this one piece was bugged out last time. Is it still? Yes. Okay, so we have this teleporter here, but it's not super useful if this cave is empty. But the other quartzes 
are down here. Ouch. Why did that hurt? Like, every now and then, things hurt that I feel like they really shouldn't. <laughs> green I have a jetpack too like there's no reason for me to take fall damage in this game other than my own poor memory like forgetting to use my glider last night all right the pink is that's the blue because you can see them all from yeah right here here's the pink one that's where I really need a teleporter, is that little section right there where it comes out to all three colors. Okay. That might be it. Common. Perfect. I need those. Ah, oh, here's one. Oh no, this is one like the purple one. Okay. The one on the wall that we can't actually get. Well, while we're right here, we might as well get the blue one. A cool like rainbow effect in this water. I took a wrong turn. Shocking, I know. so rainbow in here. I like this one. Grab all this up. Because I can do these too. I don't remember which two colors. It's not all of them. But some of these will give us a, a gene trait as well. So I've got plenty of space. There's a box over here. Oh, right. And then this brings us into the yellow one. That's right. There was the box, though. Let's see what was in the box. I feel like I knowingly left a lot of these boxes around. That was one of the things I wanted to come through and fix. But nothing really seemed worth it. But now that I know some of this stuff can be uh, turned into something. For a second, I thought this was lava when I first came up to it. And I was like, wait, what? And then I realized it's the yellow quartz, not lava. Inventory's full. Okay. Uh, we're gonna drop the iron so I can take the quartz. I want that more. I wonder if now I can more easily get up where I need to to get to my teleporter. There's still a lot of blue quartz in here. Also, I'm completely lost. I got it. <laughs> it is a lot. We've had a lot of storms today. A lot of storms. Yeah, we have babies in this game now too, Pacific. Another game that I can say, all the babies! <laughs> I like there was an easier path to get there, and I missed it. Not that it's, that it's incredibly difficult to just go home, either way. Where is this thing? It should be right there. Uh-oh, we're going into the rocks. Okay, we're, we're jetting around with this pack so much more. I, that wasn't even a struggle. 
He just like automatically took the thing and boom, here we are. Okay. All right, so which quartz can go in this thing? The green and the purple will each give me bioluminescence. Number six. That is it, right? Yes. Um, I grind up more bees. Put the quartz away first. So we have a lot of it. Uh, the yellow. There we go. Take a purple one back out. And go make that trait as well. Okay. Can I set this thing to demand things? I totally can. I'm going to have them put the bees in here. I'm going to have them fill it with bees for me because it doesn't hurt anything. Then when I want them, I can use them to... Um, make rockets. I want to say that we finished exploring the map. We found all of the new areas. I don't know that I would have considered it new biomes, though. I don't know. Because they said they added two new... I thought it was two. Two new biomes to the game. Or more. Might need to buy, I have one rocket. Let's buy the things so we can teleport to the wrecks. I need one of these energy multiplier fuses. That stings, it costs all of my money. <laughs> all of my money. Yeah, I wanted, well, that's what we're gonna do now is work on the portal. We'll get that thing. And we'll launch it. Okay, so we'll do that. Hey, Capo, good to see you. But what else do I need for that thing? Um, two fusion energy cells, a microchip compass. Let's go see what that takes. That would be over here, I think. Yeah. Ooh, three pulsar quartz. Okay, so I need six pulsar quartz right off the bat. How many did I bring back? Five, okay. What does it take to make those again? Oh, we can make a ton of it. These are made from basic resources that we have tons of. All right, cool. And then two osmium and an obsidian. Osmium, we're actually running low on. What's going on with that? Where's my obsidian? I set it up. Ah, here it is. What did I run out of that it stopped pulling? 
Osmium Zeolite. Yeah, we've got plenty of that. Osmium. Yeah, plenty of iridium. Where's my uranium? Plenty of that. I did make osmium rods. I'm just surprised that my little minions have not made up for it yet. All right, two super only rods. We have enough quartz in here, though, too, so it's fine. Six of those. All right, two of these. Two circuits. This thing. And then I need the compass chip. Uh, yeah. Microchip compass. Silicon, magnesium, and two aluminum. Silicon, magnesium, magnesium, and two aluminum. Aluminum's kind of low, too. Weird. Uh, this one. Okay, so all we need is the rocket to come back with that last energy thingy, and then we're good to go. Where do I want to build this thing? I don't want to build it over near my animals. Maybe over there? Ne or next to my rocket platform? Like right there? I keep thinking these little rocks are bugs. <clears throat> They're not. I mean, I might as well pick up all this osmium. <laughs> Obviously it dropped on one of our many, many meteors. Hello, friend. Just chilling, walking around. Stuff over there is fine. How long until this thing gets back? You're a bug. Three hundred forty two seconds. Okay. What's that, like five minutes? Let's empty my pockets. That stings. That That's all of my money. That is all of my monies. We'll grind up these new flowers I just brought back. And this thing can go in here bugs away. And these things. Oh. Oh yeah, look, it was already done with the bees. <laughs> we have been selling mostly low item things for sure. I'm going to take a look at like what other stuff is easy to do. Because we've been selling fabric and food because it's pretty renewable. I wonder what else is fairly renewable. Get some water. Also, I meant to drop these jeans off in the box. I keep picturing pants when I say that. Like, oh, I didn't put my jeans away. <laughs> I should look and see because especially like the iridium rods and uranium rods like we have so much uranium after those rockets I should look and see if you can sell those i wish i could still see the stuff even if the rocket's not here we've got to make another animal i want another monkey so we need another silk worm I also realized that it's not like I'm saving my money for anything in particular, although a couple more of those things would be fun. Like, it's not like I'm using them for anything. It's 
I would like to get another one of these energy rods to actually use on my energy. Like if I could build one of the one of the um, machine optimizers up there, like putting an energy optimizer on my energy roof would be so good because everything's right there to be in range. I could make so many bees into genetics right now. Which rocket was that? Probably not the one I was waiting for. Uh... Pilkworm. 83%. Okay. I'm being impatient. <laughs> Why was I carrying three osmium on me? Oh, because I picked it up outside. That's right. I was like, that's not on the blueprint that I have pins. There we go. I have been setting my drones up to do more and more and more. Let's go grind up a whole bunch of bees. Oh, this was a mistake. <laughs> I filled my inventory and now I can't swap the stuff out. Okay. Mistakes were made. This part's fast. Then we can take a bunch of these species ones and turn them into uh, rockets. Actually, you know what? Colors. We could launch some more rockets. I think species one might be the because we have two of what of the land sharky ones. I think one might be the other thing. Oh, the rocket's back. Uh, I'm drop some of these things off. Oh no, they're in my house. sell rods. That's what it was. I can. Six tokens, though. Yeah, like, fabric is worth as much. Pulsar quartz is worth a lot. Oh, no, I'm hungry. No, eat something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> Fusion energy cells are worth a lot. Circuit boards are worth a lot. But yeah, like a uranium rod is worth the same as a piece of fabric. I mean, uranium rods are pretty renewable too, though. To make more of them is literally just uranium.
Here we go. How many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five, ten. I need two more. I'm gonna do some more rockets. I would also need more osmium rods again. And tier four mutagens. Which I think I would have to make. I've got these. Uh, where was my drop chest? These are tier twos. Species ones. Twelve of those. Two osmium rods. Two tier four mutagens. I've got one. How do I make another? Tier three. Oh, you just combine a tier three with a tier one? Easy enough. Because three plus one equals four. Usually it's more complicated than that. <laughs> uh, and then two rocket engines. Switch this back to fabric. Let's go do some things. Okay, put that up. Can I fly all the way up there? No. And I might have been able to, but I got I gave up on it too soon. Okay, bye space fish. Space fish numero dos. Off you go. Can I see which one of these is which? We have a one, a species three, a species two, and a species two. Wait, what? Species 2, Species 1, Species 3, Species 1. Okay, no, that's right. No, that's... Yeah, Species 2, Species 1, 3, and... Okay, so Species 1 is the land shark. Oh, if I look at the animal, it says 2? Oh, that's easier. Except they're all gone. Ah, here we go. Species 1. Yeah, so... This is one, this is two. So species three is the other one that I want more of in addition to this one. Super cute. So yeah, this is the one. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna build this thing now, this thing. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna put it over here, lined up with these guys. Always something. Thirsty again. Craft a portal generator. Achievement unlocked. I'm still carrying this piece of zeolite around with me. <laughs> Can I put it somewhere else? Like in its own box? Probably not. Nope. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna trash it. We are just going to trash it. It's fine. Because right, now we need to go through the portal. How does this work? Uh, location ID, materials required, rarity, difficulty, scan for distant wrecks. Oh, okay. And now we need quartz to get there. Oh, rarity five, difficulty five. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Portals require quartz to be opened. Rescan for locations you do not have enough quartz. Rarity levels indicate the rarity of the loot found in the wrecks. Difficulty levels indicate how complex the interior of the wrecks are. All locations contain at least one wreck, sometimes more. You need to come back via the portal to keep the loot you gathered. Wrecks contain unique loot. What if I have too much loot for my pockets? 
All right. I mean, we got to go to the, the worst one first, right? Uh, that's four pink quartz. Purple and a blue. Three green. Hope. Yeah, maybe it's the same one stays open until you change it. Okay, a purple, a blue, three green, four pink. Purple, blue, three green, four pink. I'm stuck in my things. Purple, blue, three green, four pink. A purple, a blue, three green, and four pink. You have to do the quartz each time. Purple, a blue, three green, and four pink. So I'm two pink short. And pink is made with these things. Yeah, I'll pack an extra snack too. Oh, I didn't mean to eat the snack. That's fine. I'm going to pack a water, too, just in case there's not water where we're going. So I'm going to drink myself till I'm full, and then pack a water. Let's pack two. Two waters, two snacks. And let's see what we get. That's a lot of quartz. I hope these quartz caves really do respawn pretty quickly. Here we go. This is fun. Woo! Oh, this is cool. I like this. Whoa! Okay, that's cool. I'm glad that there's still oxygen here. I was kind of expecting to come out like near a wreck though. Is the idea that we're still on the same planet? How big is this? Not having a map might be a really bad idea. The portal is that way. Ah, here we go. This is a very small wreck. The complexity of this one is five. can't take these. I'm glad we don't have to worry about oxygen. Could you imagine having to worry about oxygen during this? What a mess. Yeah, same planet, distant location is the idea. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna get lost. 1000% I'm going to get lost. the thing that said deconstruct was it trying to get me to deconstruct access card they're like hidden grates or something like I swear it popped up and did a Maybe it was sensing the storage crate from far away. Access card.
Okay. Cool. Oh, I forget that I can't use the ladders when I'm on the deconstruct mode. So I just did my little panic right there. Like, why can't I get out? It was because I was in the deconstruction mode. Really? I can't get past this? There we go. A lot of uh, dead ends. So there's a bug. <laughs> oh, I am so never getting out of here. I am completely turned around. I wish I could like mess with these things. Remember when there were sections that you had to repower? It was listed as complex. Yes, this was only number five on complexity. <clears throat> I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> I knew what I was getting myself into. Although I will say that so far, I'm a little bit disappointed with the amount of stuff inside. This is completely blocked off by rock. Like, all we found is access cards. There's no plentiful loot. Probably because I'm wandering in circles and haven't found, like, the loot. You know, the doors that these access cards go to. This feels like where we just were, except it's definitely not, because there's different debris. You've heard people bringing flares. That makes sense, because, yeah... I feel like I'm going to accidentally leave thinking I've done it all when I really haven't. That is very smart. Breadcrumbs. In the absence of breadcrumbs, I can at least- I've got two pieces of iron I can drop. <laughs> is that so dead ends? This is the dead end where the bug was. This is a different one of these rooms, but also a dead end. And this is the same ladder we had before, right? No, because now there's another ladder down again. Okay. Yep. We're never going home. <laughs> another access card. I'm scanning along the walls to see if it pops up for any, like, hidden spots I can deconstruct. We live here now. Yep. <laughs> We live here now. Good thing I brought two snacks. If we die, we go home, but then we don't get to keep our loot. Oh, here we go. This is... Start by going to the right. This is a different ladder up. Okay. So now let's go this way. Oh, jeez. 
it just keeps going. Oh, look. I bet this is an access code door. Oh, do you have to put in all three? Aha, yep. Ooh, production, warts. All right, these big vaults are cool. Here it is, we found the loot. We found the big loot. Ooh, a golden effigy. Um, I'm gonna right click to get the token so those are open inventory slots again. Ooh, some genetic material. A fireplace. Use this in the blueprint screen to unlock a new blueprint for a fireplace. You think all the loot is in the vaults in these portal areas? It makes sense for there to be like a big loot room at the end. And then you have to do the rest of the wreck to try to find the three access cards. Probably just one loot room too, right? There were still other directions we could go. I need to drink my water. That's true. That's true, because they are procedurally generated, so having it all be in the crates is probably the easiest way to do that. That looks like a fossil. Okay, so we found one random box. And we found some flares. Let's drop the iron. Take the quartz for sure. I also don't need the seeds at all. So let's take those things. So we can go up again there. Big glass room in the middle that we can't get into. <laughs> Getting out of here is going to be a major problem. <clears throat> when I eat my last snack or drink my last water, like that's it. Even if there might still be something left, we're going to have to. We are going to have to bail. I mean, honestly, now that I found the loot, I probably should bail now. <laughs> there was this one little box, but generally speaking, I think we probably found the best stuff. This thing's worth 5,000 tokens. We've got two of them, too. Two production multiplier thingies. I want more power ones, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers here. This is a dead end. There was a ladder. Here it was. Ooh, this ladder's a lie. It goes to a dead end. All right, so we came from this way. We're so doomed. <laughs> um, oh, ladder. Another ladder. Another access card. 
That's just a spare access card. I, there can't be another room to access. That's got to be like a spare, so you find just three of them randomly, but there's more than three in here. Also, that feels like a bad sign, because that's somewhere we, we've never been. <laughs> We're still finding places that we haven't been yet. This is probably when paying attention to the compass would have been helpful. In terms of ruling out places that we've been before. Oh no, we're back here! Uh-oh. Okay. We went in a circle. We went in a circle. Hmm. This is where we just got that- Oh no, it's another access card! Okay. Is there another door? You think the portal's to the east? I tried to make note of it. Like, I paused to look at my compass and then did I remember? Nope. I surely did not. At this point, I've gone up and down so many ladders, I don't even remember what level we're supposed to be on. That's the iron I dropped, so we know that's a dead end. Got the space, I might as well pick up a bug. I wonder if you can, like, save these access cards for next time. They give extra cards, that makes sense. Okay. That was the... Oh, this just leads to another one of these rooms. Hey, is there a... We're lost. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be down this many levels. I think this is where we just came from. Yeah, we're back at this, like, glass room. I knew this was going to be a problem. We only get to keep the loot if we find our way out. Oh, we're back here. We're back in the loot room. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're all the way back at the beginning. Hey, Dallas! <laughs> we have made it all the way back to the beginning. Well, the end, really. Okay, let's let's try to start retracing. Yeah, thank goodness. I said that earlier too, Sarah. Like, thank goodness there's no oxygen limits here. Okay. <clears throat> So we know for a fact that this ladder is not it. Like, this is not the ladder we want. Because we came here after we found the loot room. I'm gonna drop the access card there. We don't want that ladder. When we found the loot room, we were definitely coming from this direction. this ladder? Have we been at this ladder before? Yes, this was the dead end ladder that leads to the storage crate at the end. Okay. Actually, you know what? We're gonna just real quick. Uh, 
All right, so this also not the ladder that we're looking for. That's, we're back at the loot room door. Okay. Let's try this way. I don't remember what level we're even on. I think we're two levels below. Like, I think we do need to get up two levels to get out of here. But I cannot be sure. Honestly, this is starting to make less and less sense because is there any direction we haven't gone at this point from here? Yeah, see, that's the ladder we don't want. save this for extra path marking capabilities. Uh-oh. Okay, we're, we're on our last bit of food. We haven't tried this ladder yet. This is not a dead end. So this way here is the ladder we just came back up. Okay, so that's the ladder that we took to get where we are where we are now. Oh, is this the out? The circle. We haven't gone through very many circles. Ah. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We found the out and the portal. I wonder if that was it. You think that was it? It said that every area was guaranteed to have at least one wreck. Implying that some might have more than one wreck. But I think we're just gonna accept our loot. My, my pockets are full anyway. But we made it out, we made it out alive. Good thing I packed two waters and two snacks. How did I just lose the portal? We, we were right there. We were right there. And I went up a rock, and I now I forget which side of the rock I went up. <laughs> I was so excited because we weren't lost, and now I lost the portal. Where did it go? It's shiny and pink and a circle. It should stand out quite nicely. There's the wreckage. We came out of the wreck and I was excited because I could see the portal. Guys, how did I how did I lose the portal? We could see it when we came out. Couldn't we? Why did I have to walk away? We were right there. <laughs> we were right there. I feel like I'm losing my mind. it can close behind you without you hitting the close the portal button. When we initially found the wreck, 
We, we had to go all the way around it because we weren't on the door side. I just need to get up higher, I think. We need a better... Look, a loot crate. Squirrel! <laughs> Genetic traits. Uh, take this, because I can at least turn it into a thing. Oh yeah, there's still stuff in it. Yeah, I tried to go back to the ship, which is so weird, because then I could I didn't see the portal when I came out of it. You were I was right there. I could I was right there. How did I go so wrong? Because we came out here and I was like, oh good, we made it, and there's the portal. I feel like I'm losing my mind. That's a different... Oh yeah, it could be a render distance thing. That's a different loot crate. If we're going to be lost, we might as well check out the loot situation. The problem is I don't even think I can make a structure for food and water. Because the ground here doesn't have like the basic materials. So like I don't have iron or... Silicon or any of the stuff. Because, yeah, that would have been a really good idea, Link, if I could. It really should show on your compass. There should be a way that you can find it. Because, yeah, we might... We might, uh... Die from lack of water. Oh, hello. Oops. Oh, great. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, look, there's a whole other wreck down here. <laughs> Injuring myself so I run out of food faster was a great plan. There's a whole other wreck down here. I am inside this rock. Where is the original wreck now? What was weird about seeing it from the wreck is I swear that we couldn't see the wreck from the portal initially. Well, then you are lost. We're so lost. I was so excited when I found my way out of the thing. Turns out that was only half the battle. Another deep hole right there.
Okay, so next time we do this... Next time we do this... We need to bring the materials required to make a beacon. Because now I don't even see the original wreck anymore. We're going to lose all our cool... Oh, you can't build here? Oh, lame. I guess that makes sense, though, because it's not really a permanent location. This is sad. This is sad that we're going to die here. And this is not going to help. Yeah, hydration level low. It is going to take a miracle at this point. All right, here we are back at the original wreck. Now, when we first came out of the hole... Let's go down and up again. When we first came out of the hole... I swear the portal was right over here. Like, we could see it. But when I found the wreck, we came on, we came at it from the opposite side. Like we had to walk all the way around it in order to get inside of it. So did I turn myself around before getting in the thing or after? Because when we first found it, we came at it in the wrong direction. I had to walk around the entire thing in order to get into it. Here we go. Hey, Lunas. I think it was like right this way. When we saw it render in weird, it did appear to be like right over here. Why did I have to walk away? <laughs> like we were right at it. Critical hydration level. When we didn't come past, like, outside of this whole coral area, it's going to be here somewhere. I mean, the good news is we figured it out. We're losing some pretty decent stuff, but nothing crazy. It is a bummer that there's no water here, though. I really felt like if I could get high enough, we should have been able to see it. It's a big spinning pink circle. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not going to make it. If we die, do we get to come back through the same portal? That's the second wreck. There's the port. There is the the wreck. But let us keep one quartz. Is the portal open or closed? Portal still open.
Okay, so let's um grab some snacks. Might as well offload the bug and the quartz. We're gonna try it again, especially knowing there's an entire second wreck. This time we're gonna pay really, 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 really close attention to where the portal is when we come through it. Oh, I wanted this one. Okay, two snacks. Okay, we're fully full. We've got two food packs with us. Food was not our issue. Three waters. We're not thirsty. We can't build there, Sarah. I thought Beacon too, but Anaki says we can't build there. We were just inside of the first wreck too when we died. Okay. So we came out here. You know, that's part of, part of the problem. If we were looking at it, like, right on, it's just a line. Okay, so... There's the wreck. It really was that close. It was glitched out, guys, for sure. Because it's right here. The wreck is right here. Here's all my stuff. Oh, wow, it's literally laying on the ground. It doesn't even pop into a chest. The genetic material on the ground looks really weird. Fireplace. Don't need the access card. Well, I hope I don't. There's a whole other wreck here that we can go try to do. Alright, I think that's all my stuff. We're probably missing something because I brought extra food and water and my inventory's full. But yeah, it should have been really obvious. Like, the portal should have been so clear. It definitely, like, glitched out. Because... There's the wreck. Coming out the entrance side of it. That should put the portal here next to one of these tall things. But not this tall one. No, you could see the wreck from the portal. Here's the thing. Portal should be right here. Okay. I think it might just be broken, guys. I don't know. It should be right here. We came through it and could see the wreck. It was right next to one of these tall ones. There it is! C 
see the- I saw the sparkle. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now. The other wreck is a lot further away. <laughs> so let's see if we can figure out how to make that work. Because that is going to be potentially riskier. All right, let's see. Um, quartz. We're going to keep the flares with me. Um, I ditched all the bugs. Samples. This can go there. Flowers. The Lerma doesn't belong in with the flowers, but we're going with it because it is what it is at this point. Uh, the jeans can go in here. Perfect space for them. I'm going to keep the flares. Oh, I got one of these energy ones, too. I don't even notice. That's really good. Now I can do the energy thingy near my power. Okay, those can go in there. <clears throat> we had explosive powder in this one. This I'm just going to trash. I have a whole chest of the gas tubes. I also don't know that I care about this golden effigy. My little effigy shelf is full. Although I have, du I have a duplicate in there. And then let's read the... Okay, so we got the fireplace. Perfect. I'm going in with flares, water, food, and an access card in case I can save it. I'm gonna fill my belly. We're gonna go back through this portal one more time. Let's try this again. The other wreck is potentially even a bigger problem. Okay. So here we are. Come out right here. I'm gonna walk straight west. That's this first wreck. Okay, so when we get to this wreck, it's literally straight east from the, the... Not out the door, but that way of the door. East of the door. And the other wreck was... I'm gonna keep going west. Unfortunately, the location, instead of having the coordinates like we normally do, it's just the location identifier of the map that we're on. Like, we, it doesn't change like it does when we're in the regular map. Okay, here we are. So it is pretty much straight west. Because the location is just giving me this code. The location ID for this. But I know that would have been a really good idea, too. But this is also straight west. So when we get out of here, we just have to go east. Does this go anywhere else? Like, this looks very built up. This is the hole in the ground we saw earlier. Alright, we're gonna take the <clears throat> stuff that looks remotely interesting. I can always ditch it later. Let's just focus on the wreck. I'm gonna keep the flares. Because... Honestly, I feel like that's going to be super helpful. All right, that's blocked off. This just goes down. Okay, perfect. Now, we come down. That's when you see the circles. And there's a path to... 
right. Okay, this is not the dead end I thought it might be. So let's go back here. Um, let's go to the right first. Okay, the right brings us to a ladder. So let's actually go back the other way and see what happens there. So right is to the ladder. Left takes us a couple of different options. Legitimately a couple of different options. Okay. Access card. And another ladder. Was it hard to get the portal open? No, it took a lot of quartz, but that's because I paid for the more complex and rarer loot location. Okay, so if we follow this to its dead end, there's also a ladder there. This is a different spot. That is a dead end. Okay. Okay, so this point here is a dead end. What do I care least about keeping? I'm going to drop a bacteria sample here. That is a dead end. Don't go that way. Was this the ladder? Oh no, this is the entrance. Okay. So let's go back to this ladder first. Okay. This ladder is a dead end. All right, well, that was useless. <laughs> Exit this way. All right, so we got to get back to the ladder that was at the end of this path. Which was... Here. Actually, I don't even think that was the same ladder, but it, it works. <laughs> All right, so here... We're going to drop a flare. That is the ladder to get back to the entrance. That ladder goes up. This gets so complicated. Okay, so this is a dead end. This is another access card. You know, that way's a dead end. This way is finished, so we can go this way. <laughs> I know, right? I own being really terrible at navigation, and then I chose the hardest difficulty. <laughs> I'm crazy. These are great though, like this really adds to <clears throat> what you have left to do. Like at this point, we've got our animals going and I can keep processing them and making more and more animals, but we're really just waiting on our terraformation level, right? So as long as you pack enough snacks, which is honestly the problem. 
and keep track of which direction you've gone, which I'm clearly failing at. Did we... Yeah. That is a dead end. So we've definitely found enough access keys at this point. Now we just have to find the vault. And we did both of these directions. That's the ladder we came down, I think. Yeah. can't say that with 100% certainty that we did everything down there. I'm going to drop a piece of iron there so I know I've been down that full path. I swear some of this doesn't even make sense. Like, these paths don't seem lo like logically they have enough space to coexist next to each other. I definitely, oh look, okay, that's the flare we dropped. I was not keeping track enough to know how many levels we've gone up or down. This was the dead end, okay. So yeah, actually, I think it must be back down that other ladder then. I'm watching my water. <laughs> The rest of this dead ended. So I must have missed something at the bottom of the other ladder. Unless it's all the way back at the top. Like, how is this all still going in a circle? Okay, that's a dead end. We knew that. That's what I just did. Also dead end. Also pretty sure I did know. This... is not the same ladder. Was this the one that just came out into a room? No. Yes. Okay, this is... This is a dead end ladder. Okay, so we need to find the other piece of iron I left near a ladder and go back that way. This way. And we're gonna drink our water. Now let's be thorough down here. Start by going as far to the right as we can. Which is a dead end. These levels with the glass center help because now I know like, okay, we did that. So now we came back and we're going to go this path. To the right. Yeah, see, we never made it down here. There is nothing down here, but we never made it down here. <laughs> hey, dancing. Okay, so we're looping back this way. And 
another ladder and a dead end. Did we go up this ladder? Was this a dead end ladder? No, we didn't go up here. Okay, this is a new ladder. Quartz. Okay. So it is a dead end ladder, technically. We will drop another bacteria sample here. <laughs> I'm just leaving garbage everywhere. The problem with leaving garbage everywhere is I'm leaving garbage that's like, this is a dead end, but I'm also leaving garbage that means this is the way to go for the exit. So I fully acknowledge that um, my system makes no sense because it's not gonna help me really. I already forget what I put where for what reason. It will be a failure. Okay, we haven't been here. ladder here and a ladder here oh no I'm gonna grab more nonsense that I can leave places <laughs> okay so we've got two ladders this one also just an access card Okay, so this direction is a no-go. Let's drop a flower. Arbitrary junk being left behind. Ooh, genetic mutations. I do want that. All right, we're going to leave these. Take this. Um, take the flare. All right, we're going to start being better about using the flares. Because this is also a dead-end ladder. We can't come all this way and not find the vault room in all this. The dead ends. Ah, here it is. There we go. All right, we found the loot. Let's see what we've got. Another one of these. Frog eggs, okay. Another fireplace, we don't need that. I'm gonna take the frog eggs because we can turn them into genetic material if nothing else. Um, I want these. <clears throat> Honestly, like the quartz is super important. You can eat a food, that'll clear me out a spot. There's still all these to go. Money, rods. It's a shame that this is so hard to get to because I want all the things, but I'm not going to make my way back here, you know? Like, there's no way I'm going to find it. We're going to leave the obsidian behind and trade it for the quartz. That's more important to me. We're going to leave the flares behind and bring the quartz. Because, like, my purple quartz cave has not respawned yet, which is problematic in terms of actually uh, having what I need to come back. I also probably don't need the... Um, rocket engines? Like, what's more of a pain in the butt to get? I think probably, like, the... The rods and resources? Yeah, I feel like that is the benefit of multiplayer, is the backpack space, for sure. I don't really need the circuit board. I, I mean, I don't really need the osmium rods either, to be fair. I already have that. 
<sighs> All right, let's see. What do I care more about? Osmium rods or rocket engines? Oh, this genetic trait would be good too. Okay, we're trading a rocket engine for the genetic trait for sure. I want those. Um, mutagens aren't too bad. Let's let's ditch the flower for at least one osmium rod. And I think that is good. Well, let's drink my water, and then we'll take the other one. Okay, now we just gotta find our way out of here. Easy peasy. <laughs> this is where it all went wrong last time, too, so this will be great. Easy peasy. We gotta get back to the glass room in the center. Okay, here's the glass room in the center. So the ladder out should be here. And then that was the iron piece. The other ladder, not this way. We made it out from here the last time. Accidentally. Like, I didn't want to be out when we figured it out the last time. Okay, that was our bacteria sample, so it's not that way. That was the bacteria sample of not this way. <laughs> that was one of those access cards. This was just a loot thing. Oh, this is a different loot thing. Oh, we hadn't been here before. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> We're finding new sections instead of our way out, which is good and bad, I guess. Yeah, we've been here. This way? This has dead end vibes, not gonna lie. Oh no, never mind, it's the exit. <laughs> I didn't realize they were that close to the exit. Oh, sweet. All right. Oh no. Walking up this thing is not a like straight shot. You can't actually walk on it. Like I'm jetpack pulsing. Okay, so now we're going straight east. Yeah, the long dark spray paint would be really good. I saw the portal. I got a glimpse of it right over here. There it is. Okay, take two, way better. <laughs> Although I guess technically that was take three, but either way, way better. That's so much stuff. Let's check on our animal friends. They're chilling. Are they still being fed? Yes. Are they bigger? Wait, do they start as babies and get bigger? These guys are definitely bigger than they were before. Yeah, because this guy was little. Now he's as tall as I am. Oh yeah, look, growth 95%. I didn't realize they grew. Oh, that's so cute. Where's my little guy? You're not so little anymore. 86% grown. They were babies. I love that. All right, let's see. What where did we end up with this? I got so much quartz, which is really good. That's not my quartz box. This is. I think I have too much quartz. Yeah, I do. Uh, 
the rest in there randomly. It's fine that it doesn't all match. Rods can go in here. Oh, I forgot some quartz. The blue quartz. There's up to five height differences. We made it to 7% of the way to getting off this planet. Um, rocket engines. That's what I was bringing over here. Circuit boards and these things. We've got another energy one and another production one. So that was really good. Let's go genetically squish the frog eggs. Oh, do these frog eggs not count? Yeah. Legless frog eggs don't count. Okay. Well, you know what? We should swap them out for some other frogs then. Let's go. They're a 500% multiplier. What are my other frogs? What is this frog? 150? Yeah, no. You go in there instead. Oh, they're black with creepy red eyes. Okay, well, we replaced our rainbow frogs with demon frogs. We have demon frogs instead of rainbow frogs, but I can go get the genetics out of the rainbow frog, so... It works out. Okay, so the bees give me species one. I have a species two. Species two is the little one I want. So we got a species two. That's what I wanted. Um, skin pattern, color. Do I have enough colors? Do I have any color A's? I don't. Skin pattern five. Bioluminescence. This bioluminescence too. But I still need a color A. Which comes from the butterfly. So I need to make a new butterfly. We've got heights one and two, but that's it. Let's start loading things up into here so I can keep track of them. Um, so we're going to give it... Skin pattern with bioluminescence number nine. A brown skin stripe. Um, yeah, okay. So I need both colors. Also, I need to get these samples out of here so I can fit the rest of these genetics back in. Okay, we need a butterfly. <clears throat> butterfly to get a color. Rare larva, mutagen, and a fertilizer. Rare. Rare fertilizer. Wait. Regular mutagen. Okay. Here we go. Alright, let's put the samples away. As much as I can anyway, which is not all of them. I need more things for colors though. I don't even have any color bees anymore, really. All right, we're going to turn this off for, for bees for now. I'll do these last couple, but... Drive safe, Sarah! I'll do these last couple. I'm going to have to shoot off some rockets to get rid of all these species ones. Actually, can I fit any more animals? I can fit one more. All right, so we've got color B. 
be this blue one. And we just need the color A. We should get from this. Yep. White. All right, so that's everything but size. Yeah, the regular larva, common larva. These are species. Uh-oh, thirsty. Common larva and uncommon larva do give size differences. Let's grind up a couple of those. So far we have sizes one and two. Oh, the Volumnus plant also does size. That's probably a bigger one. So yeah, let's do a Volumnus plant instead. I know I brought some of those back, I think, anyway. Yeah, I did. See if we can get something bigger. Yeah, size three. All right, let's go look at this. Wee. <laughs> All righty. Oh, look at this one. Oh, I gotta turn on my flashlight. Look at you, it's stripey. <laughs> I love these ones. I imagine, yeah, a size five in the llama horse would be huge, I bet, because I think the one we have is a size one. Well, will it tell me if I find it? Holy crap, you're very big. Yeah, size two. Where is our llama? Where did you go, friend? They're so big now. How do they get lost in all this? Although I guess there's a lot of space for them to be lost in. Hello, friend. You are a size two, so the other one's going to be bigger than this one. We lose a llama horse. It's huge. There you are. You are a size two. So yeah, you get a bigger one of those too. <laughs> all right, so we're going to unpin this. That is all I can fit in my animal pen. So if I want more animals, I need to add another animal pen. Which we have all of the materials to do easily enough. So I'm going to change this back to fabric. Before I do that, let me grab some silk. <laughs> And then I need some Lermas. Where's the... Here it is. I'll just do two of them right off the bat. Might as well. I'm going to end up using them, and I'm pretty sure I have plenty of power for it. Uh, two water, two fertilizer, and two of the methane. We're actually running low on fertilizer again. That's such a good description, Christy. They do look like, like Play-Doh animals that little kids would make. What am I missing? Oh, it's tier two fertilizer. I grabbed the wrong fertilizer. I 
I can see where you get like a lot of variety. Like mine are still pretty basic, but there's some like really big. in two. That will let me have 10 more animals for a grand total of 15. Which, let's be honest, is a fantastic number. <laughs> They're so... Oh, wait! I can pet it! Oh, now that it's bigger, I can pet it! And when I pet it, I get a genetic trait from it? Oh, you can pet them and get genetics from them. I couldn't pet them before because they were babies. What did we just get? Skin patterns, genetic variants. That's really cool. You can interact with them to get free uh, stuff. Did I pet this one? Nope. Maybe I did because that one didn't give me anything fun. That's really cool. I, I pet you. Yeah, we didn't get anything from you. I already pet you. Okay, yeah, I pet all of them except the new baby, which is who even knows where. <laughs> Probably not old enough to give me anything anyway. That's really cool. So that's a good way to get some extra variations because this is a number three variant. Not just like a color or a pattern. Makes sense. All right, let's launch some more fish into space. Because I need to uh, get some stuff out of this box. You know what? We also probably just need a second jeans box, to be honest. All right, I could do one of the real big ones. Make a little campfire. <laughs> and I could make one of these two super alloy and a circuit board and make that my gene storage. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, it would help if I could spell genes right. Alright, so. be really nice if I can organize them by type. I don't know that will ever actually happen. You know what I mean? Like all the sizes in one, all the colors in another. What I really want is all of the like level one animals to be in my pocket. Because that's from the bees. Variant color, size, size, species, color, 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 species, species. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll do two more rockets. These need to go away. Yeah, two more rockets. So that means two more tier four mutagens. That's methane. Which I actually got from the thing, so that's cool. Uh, two osmium rods and two engines. How's my osmium going? Oh, good. They caught up to it. The drones caught up to it. Alright, rockets away. We're at almost 8%. It's moving slowly at this stage. Fish rocket. <laughs> this one just seems so bad. Oh, man. Bye, fish. Bye. 
die, fish. I hope you don't die a horrible death in space. <laughs> Probably close off the portal now. I doubt there's anything else in that place. And the little things I left behind are definitely not worth the headache of trying to go back for. You know what I do want to build up here now, though? We have the energy thingy. So this thing... A tier 2 machine optimizer. Two of these. Um, three obsidian. And an uranium rod. Okay, let's put one of these on my power roof. I went the long way to do that. I wonder what the range of this thing is. Oh, it has a range circle. Optimization capacity, eight machines. So actually, if that's the case, if it only does eight machines, then I want it over here near these ones. And that doesn't give me enough power to continue, but I wonder... Oop, I ran past it. Since technically this thing boosts the performance of energy generators, will that immediately put me back in power? So right now we are just... Okay, it says not enough. I was hoping it would tell me, like, how much I was short by. Power restored. Yeah, these all have a 150 boost. And these do not. Okay, good. So it gave the bonus to these generators, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. So how much power did that give us? We went from not enough to 5,000. Okay, putting in that one thing which takes 150 power, okay? 150 power is all that machine that we just put down took. So we were down to less than 150 power left, and now we have almost 6,000 available. That was so worth it. That was completely worth it. The other one's for production machines. I don't know if I really have anything doing enough to make production machines worth it, you know? Machines that generate items. <clears throat> Nothing is really generating to the point that it's so slow that I'm frustrated by it. I don't know that that would really make too much of a difference for me. We need more bugs. And I'm going to do more flowers to get more... Like, these Volnus plants are really good for my oxygen production. But I think, if we go look at the board... Animals is climbing pretty quickly for the moment. But oxygen is still going up fairly well. Like, I don't think I need to worry about getting my plants any better. My rockets are doing the job. Yeah, I wonder if I put one in if it would help my silk generators generate faster. Would it would it apply to the silk generators, do you think? I wonder how you get size 5. Find other rarer ones by exploring the world. Okay, so yeah, you'd find it. The biggest size I can make is size 3. They're all colors. Let's 
skin patterns and bioluminescence. Yeah. Okay, so the, the biggest I can make is a size three. And then we'd have to find the rest out in the world. Uh, I have a lot of species ones. Is species one the horse? Getting them all confused. I need to add that to my little cheat sheet. <laughs> Which one are you? You are species three. What oh, gave me another trait? It gave me a trait for a species three. That one gave me a color. Wow, you get a ton just by interacting with them. Size five. Oh, guys, we can make a size five llama. You're still a baby. I can't pet you yet because you're a baby. All right, we just got a number three, a species three, and a size five just by petting our friends. So let's let's dump this in. We want a color A, size five, species three. Ray is the top color. Mm. Um. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have awesome colors at the moment. In pattern five, we can put this on it. I have a pattern color. Green, and we'll do the bottom this kind of yellowish color. Color B is the top, A is the legs. Okay. You know what? I might like the brown better than the green. All right. Okay, so it's going to be kind of a gray and pale yellow with dark brown stripes. Um, whatever this genetic variant number three is with bioluminescence, size five. So it's going to be huge. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is not at all what I thought that was going to look like. It has lava stripes. It has lava stripes. That is not what I expected at all. I'm not mad about it. You're going to get big. And I can't wait to see it. <laughs> you are going to get huge and it's going to be amazing. That gave us bioluminescence number 10. We're getting cool stuff just by messing around with these guys. Bioluminescence number eight. Like these ones aren't even bioluminescent. So they're giving us things. Okay, good. They have food. They're giving us things that like don't even. Correspond to what they have. That was the word I was looking for. This is great. We're only at 9% though. Like this is a long way away from getting off of the planet. <sighs> My next thing is, I'm not sure. I don't, like, do we have another, we have another interesting streams worth of content for this. Daisy's totally dreaming by the way too. Like she's, she is dead asleep, whatever she's barking at. <laughs> We've done the wrecks. We've found all of the things in the biomes. We can keep making animals. 
I'm just wondering if there's enough that I haven't done because we're hours and hours and hours away from the getting off the planet portion of this. I'm thinking maybe one more. Yeah, we can try a different portal. We can make more animals, especially now that I know I can pet these guys. We might just have to like pump out the rockets because we're a really long way from you're a really long way from being able to uh, get that last thing unlocked. Yeah, we have to be at 5 TTI and we're at 1.5. <laughs> we are at 1.5. But that's, that's the only thing left to do is get off the planet. And I guess that's like what the next stage is. So yeah, we're 8% of the way there. 8%. <clears throat> I just want to make sure there's something unique. Like normally when we play this, there's some new thing to look at. So it doesn't feel like we're just watching the same thing over and over. That makes sense. Now she's coughing on something. Could you hear the, the dog hack in the background? <laughs> Tracy, are you good? <laughs> I love the army of frogs, the way they line up down there. The way they line up. We, I mean, we're definitely coming back because we have to, um, we have to see that size five baby be a size five. So there will be at least one more. I might try to like run the game a bit and set off some more rockets in the meantime so that we're a little bit closer to that stage. Because we went, it took us three hours today to go from... 1% to 8%. So that's true. Chat has a very generous definition of interesting content compared to what I feel pressured to provide. Self-induced pressure to provide. Um, but yeah, we're going to call it here for today. Um, this is great. <laughs> this is so good. This is not at all what I pictured as the as we've been going through the game. Um this is not what I imagined whenever I thought of getting to the mammal stage. It wasn't this, but honestly, I love it. <laughs> like the fact that we're mix and matching. I wish there were more, although you can mix and match so many pieces that I can see how you, um, you can create a whole lot of diversity. Um, but yeah, this is not what I pictured, but it's so fun to like do all the things and get all the different stuff. And I do like that you can pet them and get cool stuff that way too. What is over here? The color of this. Oh, it's sulfur. Okay. And uh, sorry, I had to get down because I'm like, what is that? Like, what's the color that's happening over there? Something was glowing. It was a very interesting color. But yeah, we're definitely going to be back for at least one more. Um, and I'll try to run it a bit in the background, but I'll be back later today. Yeah, we definitely want a snacky before I die when I'm doing my outro. Um, we'll be back tonight. We're going to be doing more Ark tonight. So dinosaur baby adventures. And then the rest of the schedule is posted on the Discord. So if you're curious when we're going to get back to this game or what else we've got going on, that is the best place to find it. Um, and then... Of course, if you enjoyed today's stream and you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one. And until then, have a good one, everybody.